Hello, Yuka Littles and Yuka Middles. This is just a little video to go over the things we've been learning these past couple weeks. The main thing um, we've been doing is the C chord, and we've also been going over the names of the strings um, and the way to hold the instrument. One thing the very youngest kids are having a hard time with is holding their instrument still in their laps. It's just on my lap, resting on my lap, can't have my knees down flat or it would fall down and we say it's not a baby it's a ukulele so it has to be held up like this straight this hand your left hand holding it we'll be using our left hand to do things up here and our right hand to be doing things here so your right hand shouldn't hold it at all your left hand and your lap that's how you hold it um, the very youngest class has a lot of trouble with putting it on the ground and then propping their feet up on it or sometimes letting it fall over this way. Um, in order to keep your instrument safe, please encourage your kids to keep them in their laps. I always let them just kind of hold them how they want to and when I say ready, that means they get ready to play. So you can practice that with your kids. They hold it however they want and I say ready and then they get ready to play. The names of the four strings are you just rest your thumb on the string closest to your face and play one string at a time. G, and it stops on the second string. C, E, and the last one is an A. And the story that we tell to go along with the names of those strings are good cats eat apples. And you can get your kid to tell you this story because it's an amazing story, really. G, C, E, A. And then we've started learning the C chord. I put stickers on most of their instruments. These are called frets, these spaces in between the lines. The third fret, one, two, three, the string closest to their feet. And it's going to be finger one, two, three, four, your ring finger. Third fret on the A string. You press that down really hard. Press it down hard enough that it makes a little groove in your finger. We have to stop after a while to rest our little fingers because those grooves, and if you rub them on the seam of your jeans, that makes it feel better or on the carpet. Um, so right here, you press this with that left hand. Remember the right hand does nothing. It's not even holding it up. You hold it with your left hand and then with your right hand, just your thumb very gently strums down all the strings. Press this one hard. That's our C chord. We don't play it hard because we're going to break our strings and hurt our fingers. Very soft. This hand has to press down kind of hard. If it sounds like this, that just means you're not pressing this hard enough. So the C chord, and we've done a couple songs. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. And some other ones that we can think of that are just the C chord. Starting next week, we will begin the G7 chord. So I'll send you information about that next week. But for this week, if you want to work on anything with your kids, hold it correctly in your lap, supporting it with your left hand, not the right hand. Do not drop it. Do not step on it. Don't break it. Don't use it as an instrument of torture or a sword or lightsaber or anything like that. It just sits in your lap. Left hand supports it. Right hand comes in front. We learned the names of the strings. Good cats eat apples or G, C, E, A. And we use that when we tune our instruments at the beginning of class. And then the chord we learned was a C chord. Fourth finger or ring finger, starting with your thumb, one, two, three, four. Third fret, one, two, three. A string closest to the ground. And I'm just kind of holding it with my thumb, that's what I'm getting my leverage with. Squeezing it like this.
right. Have fun. See you soon.